Good morning. Welcome to the FTS Bet Slip on Sunday, the 27th of December. It's all about FTS Xmas dinner prizes. Yes, what? This has been murder. She's taken ages to go over these. Absolutely ages. I do leave it to Sam to do. Uh, it, obviously, it's subjective. Um, but she has been pouring over these pictures for ages. Um, Jaster, son. I loved yours because uh, it's quite good as she was going through them. Jaster, she said, he's got cucumber on his dinner. You don't put courgettes on a Christmas dinner, son. You don't put courgettes on it. Um, and Darren Parker... I think you know, yeah, Darren, uh, you worked a 12-hour shift and came home and put your FTS sausages together. You've got a £25 free bet just for that because she loved it, the fact that you'd made the effort. So, Darren, you have got a £25 free bet. Everybody else, it got whittled down to nine. Rob Bailey, Kerry Blaber, Matt Reed, Jason Caton, Mark Manfield, Joe Hamilton, Gary Smith, Chris Wilkinson and Dan Williams. And she poured over these nine pictures for ages. And I have to tell you, Chris Wilkinson, if you'd had some more visible turkey on your plate, son, you would have been defending champion. But she just didn't like the fact. She thought everything was brilliant, bar your flipping missing turkey. Didn't look like you had any meat on the plate. So you got um, shipped to the side. Everything else she loves. You look at your roast potatoes, your carrots, but couldn't see any meat. You can't see any turkey on there, man. Um, so that got whipped out. Uh, Joe Hamilton, you cut crosses in the bottom of his Brussels. That got whipped out. Dan Williams, she loved your potatoes, but didn't like the red cabbage and the... Um, I think it must have been some mashed swede on the side. So we did end up, we got it down to a final three then, which was Gary Smith, Rob Bailey and Matt Reed. And then all it came down to, she was, I mean, and I, went, I said, look, you've got to make a decision. Which one of these three would you most like to eat? And starting today, I am going to trade a thousand pound bank starting today through to the new year for... Matt Reed, you are the winner, Matt. There you go. A commiserations to everybody else. Some fantastic efforts. But ultimately, it came down to which dinner would she like to eat the most. And Matt, she liked the look of yours. Um, thought the spuds looked good. Peas, everything she likes on it. Parsnips, carrots look great. Uh, pigs in blankets. So... Matt Reed, you are the winner. I will be doing that today. Obviously, there'll be people who look at the pictures and have differing views, but that is what she came up with. So, um, there you go. But, yeah, the funniest moment was when she said to Jaysters, what's he doing with cucumber on the plate? Um, and some very good efforts. Gary Smith, you were very close. Dan Williams, very close. And Chris, as I say, Chris would have won, definitely, had there been some turkey on that plate. Chris, she does like her turkey. Um, but thank you all for, I mean, looks like you all had some fantastic dinners there. Thank you all for entering. Good bit of fun. That's all it's meant to be. Um, yeah, we'll do it. It's going to become an annual event. We'll do it. I will get to do one. I don't know what's going to piss my Christmas next year. There'll be something, I'm sure. But um, obviously it was honey dying last year. Then this nonsense this year. God knows what will happen next year. Perhaps Spurs will win the league and um, I'll drink myself stupid and I won't recover by Christmas. Who knows? Um, right. What happened, at, what happened at the Emirates last night? What happened? I didn't see it, but 3-0. Uh, that's a right old pasting. He played some kids, didn't he? And, and uh, Chelsea, old Vern has gone a bit cold, hasn't he? But unbelievable. Chrissy had it on the old Chrissy spreadsheets bet of the day. And... Um, I laughed. He's got flipping wolves to beat Tottenham today, which will probably will happen, to be fair. Um, but amazing. Yes, absolutely unbel unbelievable, Jeff. Um, right, that's it. It is. I've got... No, I've got a football bit. Sorry, I have got a football bit. Bear with me a second. Um, I haven't done the NFL yet, so I'll do that later. But I have got a football bit. I need to scroll down the page. Um... I have got, where are you? It's the 7 o'clock kickoff in Brazil. Bahia versus Internacional. If um, there hasn't been a second half goal by 70 minutes, then drip lay the scoreline. Uh, Bahia versus Internacional. Um, 
And actually, if the West Ham Brighton game is drawing, West Ham Brighton is drawing the last seventy minutes uh, after seventy minutes. Um, again, if there hasn't been a second half goal, so if it's nil nil one one at half time and it stays nil nil one one two two whatever nil nil one one two two, if it stays that by half time, then West Ham Brighton drip lay the score line there, or you can lay the draw and trade out. So West Ham Brighton kicking off at two fifteen. Um, and the Bahia Internacional RS on 70 minutes. Um, that is that is it for today. I don't know what happened there. My phone just started to start playing the fray. Obviously, I think uh, Siri must have thought I said something then. Um, so that's it. So Matt Reed, I'm going to start that today for you for any trades that I do, and I will do that through this Christmas program through to the new year. Well done. Thank you to everybody else for entering. Um, I'll be adding yet more people to Telegram over the next couple of weeks. Got some new bits starting on there in the new year. Uh, and ultimate members, remember, I will close everything down tonight, and then we need a fresh process tomorrow. Um, for the teams, I think it's Chelsea played yesterday, playing again on Monday, um, just to cover all those fixtures. So there'll be one on Monday and one on Tuesday. I hope you've all had a, a good Christmas Day and Boxing Day, given the circumstances. Um, and uh, yes, we'll do what we can to G things up and keep things going for the next couple of months. I think we're all in for a pretty crap couple of months. So we will revert to um, trying to do some entertaining pods and keep people going Um Sam not going away now, so she'll be home with me. I can get her on the pod doing bits if we can get her away from that bloody sewing machine. Um, right, enjoy your Sunday, and I'll be back with you all um, tomorrow morning. And well done, Matt Reed. <laughs>